Last night, a new documentary about one of the UK's most controversial figures, Shamima Begum, aired on the BBC. She is one of three London schoolgirls who travelled to Syria in 2015 to join the Islamic State group, aged just 15. Now she's telling her story from the Syrian refugee camp where she's been living since having her British citizenship revoked in 2019. Some say she is a threat to national security. Others argue she was a teenage victim of grooming and trafficking. Whatever the answer, she's definitely no stranger to controversy. Um, you got to watch the majority of this documentary, Kelly. And yeah. it, it is, it's very divisive. We, we, we got a reaction straight away from the audience there as well. And you're either almost one way or the other with yeah. it, aren't you? But where, where did you stand after watching Well, I think the sensibility that she was 15 is definitely there it's definitely you know it's evident that there were conversations that happened within within her school this there'd been an incident before the letter didn't get to her family which so all of those discrepancies did happen which if i think you know if the family were warned at least they would have been more alerted mm. to the probability of her joining so there is all of that to kind of underpin everything but i think there were key things and key messages within the documentary that's kind of still sat me in the, in the, in the seat of, of a reserved position. Mm -hmm. As in, um, my concern are things like rehabilitation. So when you get back, you know, we've had previous cases with, with people like Guzman Khan, who was brought back and he was rehabilitated, supposedly, but then went on to reoffend and cost people's lives. So mm -hmm. for me, it's about the training that she received while she was there. Mm -hmm. Yes, we know we're not um, privy to the fact that she was actually you know, responsible for any of those deaths, but she took the decision to go and join ISIS. And also within the documentary, mm -hmm. There was a point where she was actually shown the videos of what ISIS is responsible for. And I, my heart goes out to the victims. There were you know, British people who were kidnapped and executed under ISIS. And those families have now got to see that person that, was, that had joined a, a regime of that, you know, who, what kind of person joins a regime that knows that that's a possibility and that's what they do and that's what they stand for. I know that she said that she thought it was about, you know, her faith and being a Muslim and being protected and all of those things. And I get the sweeteners that enticed her to be there. But I also think there's a sense of responsibility that has to be taken also. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think, Jean, in terms of, of the argument that she was a young girl, a naive girl, who was, who was easily led into something that she just wasn't fully aware what was going to happen to her, and certainly not aware of the fact that she might be able to get back home again. I mean, you know, we... Patricia's not Sorry, at she that was age. aware, just to add, she does say that in documentary, she does say she was aware that she wouldn't be able to come home. So when she was leaving, she did say that she was aware that she, that she wouldn't That she wouldn't get home. home. But, yeah. but here she is wanting to, is what yeah. I should say. Yeah. You know, a so yeah. hoping the door here, will open yes. again. All, all I will say point. is anybody here that has got a daughter, you know, when they get to the age of 15, they can be a little bit malleable, they mm. can go, they can get in with the... I know this is an epically wrong crowd, but, listen, I'm sort of a bit on the fence with it, but I do believe that everybody has a right to tell their side of the story. The way I hate the world going now is that they keep saying you can only hear one side of a story. Mm. You should be able to hear both sides of a story. You might not like what you hear, but you can then make an informed decision on what you think about the situation rather than a narrative that's been fed. So I do feel that she has the right to say her side of the story. Um, almost though, in a way, she's become a political football. And actually, the more that she does, the more that compounds mm. that, because she is so high profile now that she's become that sort of um, the poster girl, if you like, for ISIS brides. Mm -hmm. Now, there's an awful lot of ISIS brides as they call them, who have very quietly been rehabilitated back into Britain, mm. and we know nothing of them. They've just gone back to ordinary, westernised lives. Um, she, however, because she got discovered in this refugee camp and now is giving all these interviews, has become this sort of very public figure, and any government that says, OK, bring her back, is going to get shot down in flames. Mm. And then the other thing is you've got all the other people that think that she should be given another mm. chance who are shooting them down in flames. So it's very, very difficult. But my p personal view is, and it's just a gut feeling, she is now so high-profile that she wouldn't be a threat. Mm -hmm. And what I would do is I would 
bring her back to Britain. She's lost three babies. She's been through an awful lot. So have the families of, of mm. the victims of ISIS. I agree with that. Um, but I would put her out on a school. I would say, right, you can come back, but you're working for the government and you are going around schools where we have issues with what we think are young people being radicalised and you're going to go into those schools and you're going to tell them exactly how mm -hmm. it is. I, 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 I have my concerns over um, the authenticity of her regret because the, the times that I've seen her, there's been no remorse and mm -hmm. it's, you know, I think that you can easily say something that you think that you have to say in order to get what you need. And if, yeah, you can go and uh, you're on the front cover of, of a, 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 a very popular magazine, mm. if you don't want to talk about it, you have the choice to say no or yes. And she's chosen yes for her own reasons. So you can't go back and start blaming the media. The, I blame the media that put, put so much... Um, I've been put on the media so much, but what is there to obsess over? Well, if mm -hmm. there's nothing, come off the media. Don't, don't do the interviews. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, this is exactly where we're at.